Gotta love Big Bird. That is a terrific example of how mobile is transforming education and an exciting new capability for Vuforia with text recognition. So while you might have seen apps that use the camera for language translation in the past, we're making text recognition available to developers this spring for education and a wide range of other applications. So we've talked about transforming education. Now why don't we come back to healthcare? For many people who until now have had, not had access to even the most basic healthcare, their mobile device is gonna be a life changer and maybe even a life saver. Now I have the honor of serving as a global ambassador for the International Society for Telemedicine and eHealth. And we're working with some amazing people like Archbishop Desmond Tutu in South Africa. And we're leveraging the power of mobile to improve healthcare for people everywhere particularly in developing countries. Hello, Paul. I'm delighted to participate in the opening of CES 2013 and to comment briefly on the role of technology as a force for effecting positive social change. Today, the technology most accessible to the poor and disenfranchised is the mobile phone. If we want a vehicle for reaching the underserved with interventions from health and other sectors of the economy, the mobile phone is the technology of choice. Mobile is going to have a transformative impact on the public health here and in Africa and all around the world. And I look forward to working with you and Calcom to help extend the benefits of M Health to people everywhere. So those are compelling words from Archbishop Tutu. And we share his vision of a world where everyone has access to mobile health. One of the keys is to create new tools. Now at last year's CES, the Qualcomm Foundation announced the $10 million Qualcomm Tricorder XPRIZE, together with the XPRIZE Foundation. And the goal is to inspire teams to create a diagnostic device like the Tricorder of Star Trek fame that puts personalized health in the palm of your hand. I totally believe this is possible. And I believe this is going to revolutionize healthcare. The response we've gotten has been awesome. We have over 255 teams from 34 countries pre-registering for the competition. But I'm pleased to announce the official guidelines are available and registration will open tomorrow at 8 a.m. Eastern. So it's a chance for you to make a difference and maybe you could win a $10 million prize. Not so bad. Okay, if you want more information, you can go to qualcomtricorderxprize.org. Get more information there. So this Qualcomm Tricorder X Prize probably gives you a little hint that there's a few Star Trek fans here at Qualcomm. And um, you know, we can't really wait for this new Star Trek Into Darkness, which is the next film in the franchise. It's coming out on May 17th. This film sounds great. There is a ton of buzz around it. safe. You 
you are not. How cool is that? So we're excited to be helping Paramount leverage some of our newest technologies for their incredible new Star Trek app. They're using our context awareness platform called Gimbal to make new connections and interactions with fans. Now Gimbal uses a combination of geofencing, image recognition, and audio recognition to present information to us in creative new ways. So here to tell us more about the app and the movie, is actor Alice Eve. Hey Alice, glad to have you here. Thank you for having me. Now, I gotta guess that you're facing a little bit of pressure because, you know, Star Trek fans, and I'm guessing there's a few of you out there in the audience. We are serious about our love for this franchise. Yeah, so am I. Um, you know, obviously when we started filming, I was nervous because everyone had made a movie together before, and of course I was the new girl on set. But as you can tell from that, JJ's bordering on genius, and so he was also very welcoming and a gentleman. So, uh, it's been a lot of mystery here. Are you going to tell us a little bit about your character on Star Trek Into Darkness? Yeah, mystery is the name of the game, I think, on Star Trek and any JJ project. But I can tell you, thank goodness, that I play Dr. Carol Marcus, who, like you, has a PhD. And, um, although... I knew I had something to do with Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't tell you anything else. Obviously, Dr. Marcus was in the original series, and the second um, of the original movies, but since J.J. split the universe in 2009, any eventuality is possible. So, you're really not going to tell us anything more? Well, what do you want to know, Paul? Uh, anything you want to tell me. <laughs> Come on. No, my lips are sealed. We got, you know, we're just with a bunch of our friends Yeah, it's here. just a close little group of us. Yeah. Um, my lips are sealed as the the prompter is telling me to say. <laughs> Although, I'd love to tell you more. But there is a way you can delve deeper into the Star Trek universe and unveil perhaps some of the mystery. So, I'm guessing you're talking about this app we're doing? Yeah, that's right. And I was just playing with it, and it's pretty cool. It, 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 let me tell you how it works. So, fans can become a part of the crew the minute they log in. And they go out on real-world missions. So, you have to find, like, a trailer, or if you find a billboard... Um, a poster, or if you go into your local theatre, you gain points and become more heroic. So it's pretty fun? Yeah, it's the hero-making app. I like it. So, uh, so the way that that thing works, it's uh, Qualcomm's new context awareness platform, yeah. and it makes all those features possible. And what it does is it lets this app sort of adapt to the user's surroundings. And so the app can actually detect when a mission's completed using a combination of audio scan or geolocation uh, identification or image recognition. And this app, it's actually the first one that's used all three of these technologies together in our gimbal platform. So Big Bird just uses one. Yeah, yeah you right. guys have a few more. Yeah, we have two more than Big Bird. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Everybody's trying to get something over on Big Bird. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there's a bird joke in there somewhere, but I'm not going to make it. <laughs> so, um, there's a sound scanner, as we just said. And so, fans watching Star Trek Into Darkness videos can manually unlock and sound scan their missions. There's also an image scanner, so they can interact with the film's images to accomplish additional missions. So, you know, the way that that works is with this Vuforia platform that Big Bird was using, and it really allows the app to recognize a whole bunch of different visual targets. So you can 
interact with you know, real world billboards or images or posters. And it's all much, much more seamless than it ever was before. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, so don't forget the Star Trek app also uses geolocation. But what was quite cool about that I just heard is that if you're near a billboard, like the app will tell you, oh, if you just go over there, then it's quite cool. It's like an Easter egg hunt. Yeah. Um, so it allows fans to take part in a real world scavenger hunt or Easter egg hunt where they accomplish missions by finding specific locations. So what happens with that technology is pretty yeah. cool too because it uses this very low power location technology. So this geofence, the thing that tells you when you're near things or inside a place, that capability is always on. And so what that means is that fans can auto-complete their missions. I mean, they don't even have to take their smartphone out of their pocket to do it. So the app just runs silently in the background, and you know, fans can unlock special missions just by walking into the local movie theater. It's a bit lazy, isn't it? Yeah, but it's kind of cool. Um, so as you accomplish these real-world missions, you rise up in the ranks to earn special content and rewards. So um, you only told us a little bit. Are we going to hear any more soon? You will. You'll hear more in February during one of the biggest, perhaps the biggest, American sporting event of the year. Right, the American sporting event. I am a Chelsea fan myself. We so had to make that clear. Um, there we go. Um, Chelsea, so anybody else? Yes! Star Trek. I love Chelsea. you, Vegas. So uh, there'll be another sneak peek during that, uh, and much more to come after that, obviously, including the film in May. Um, so that's great. <laughs> also, one lucky fan who registers to be notified once the app launches, we'll have a chance to win a VIP trip to the US premiere. Which That's going to be fun. Cool. Yeah, that will be fun. That will actually be fun. Um, go to, <laughs> go to StarTrekMovie.com slash CES for details and a chance to enter. So the stuff that Paramount's doing with Gimbal really fits this vision that we have where the smartphone's going to enable a digital sixth sense for us. And what Paramount's doing is they're using the smartphone and gimbal to market the film in the real world, but at the same time, they're pulling the user into the film's world. So the line between the physical and the digital world, they're really blurring. Yikes. So with the new Star Trek app and gimbal, the future is really not the future anymore. No, I don't think so. So, hey. Thanks, Alice, for being here. I'm really looking forward to seeing you on the big screen. Thank you, Paul. Nice to see you. Good to see you, too. Bye. I think I'm more fired up. All right. We've seen a bunch of cool devices tonight. But before we go, I want to show you one of my favorite battery-powered mobile devices. Now, this is something that was really born mobile. One type of mobile product that's particularly promising and cool is electric vehicles. We're working on a unique wireless charging technology called Qualcomm Halo. With Qualcomm Halo, your electric vehicle automatically begins to charge when you pull into your garage or into an activated parking space. And there's no cables to hook up, you don't have to worry about aligning your car exactly. It just works. And as we're working on commercializing this technology, we are seeing some amazing concept cars come out. So we borrowed the keys to uh, this one. So Rolls-Royce pulled the V12 gasoline engine from this car and replaced it. Your key, sir. Thank you very much. With an electric motor. And it's powered by incredible batteries that can store 73 kilowatt hours of energy. So let me put that in context. Those batteries would fully charge over 12,000 smartphones. It's kind of impressive. There, right in there. I mean, it 